What's going on everyone? Austin John Pleaser, and today I'm going to be going over all of the pieces of Heart Location and Legend of Zelda Echoes of Wisdom. There's going to be a total of 40 pieces of heart in the entire game. Most of them are going to be out in the open, but some are only going to be achievable after optional mini bosses and some side quests. In this video, I'm going to be going over all 40 pieces of heart in an order that you can obtain them through natural gameplay. So if you want to use this to play along throughout your entire journey, cool. Anything related to the story is going to be very nondescript, so you can discover this on your own, non-spoiler 100%. But if you're only missing a few of them, then this is going to be fine too. If all you want to see is a picture of the map 100% done, do me a favor, hit the thumbs up button down below because I'm just going to show you the map. Now, if you want to watch the rest of the video, have it on in the background as like a thank you to me, that's cool too. But if you just want the map, there you go. Why am I going to show you the map? Because I'm a gamer and you're a gamer and I respect your time as a gamer instead of clickbait articles that are not going to be showing you the map. Here's the map. There's nothing under my face. This is all 40 pieces of heart in the entire game. And if you're missing one of them and you're at 39, make sure that you got the second one from the Slumber Dojo. Uh, data mine information even doesn't display this one because it has the exact same coordinates, but there's gonna be two at the Slumber Dojo. The second one, you're only gonna be able to unlock near the end of the game. These are gonna be clips from my 100% walkthrough. So you're going to have some context around where the piece of heart is and some tips on how to actually get it. And with no further ado, let's get into it. Here we see that there's a piece of heart down here. Let's go ahead and get that. Go ahead and plop down an old bed on top of the water, which allows you to hop out. And that's our first piece of heart. One out of 40. From here, we want to go ahead and plop down a bed, get out of the water, head to the right, and we're going to be bridging across this small chasm. We have some sea urchins over here. Go ahead, defeat those nice and easy, and head down these stairs. Over here, we have a rock wall to climb and some boxes. Now, let's just go ahead, drop some heavy boulders onto these boxes. Now let's just get this pizza heart. Inside of this item shop over here is going to be heart piece number three, which we have to purchase for 80 rupees. That is the only piece of heart that you're going to be purchasing in this game. And over here we have yet another optional cave. Let's head inside. Oh, there's a piece of heart over here. We definitely want that. And immediately after we see a whole bunch of boxes. Good thing the Cara Modelo can just go ahead and uh, break all those for you. Over here is a little bit of a platforming challenge. If you just don't die, then uh, you make your way to the left, no problem, get your heart piece. Fantastic, that's number four. Uh, we're also gonna be unlocking a bunch of fast travel points, which brings us to our first piece of heart right over here. And we're gonna follow the spider up the water spout. And that gets us a piece of heart. Ah, yeah, here he is. Hey guy, bah, you scared me. My name's Sago, I'm an archeologist. Is there a particular reason you're here? Uh, nope, not not in particular reason at all, except Austin John Play said that we should go here. Directly in the middle of all these trees, you see that one little upright thing? That's where we're gonna be going. And on this stump is our next piece of heart. And afterward, we're gonna be making our way to this little island right here. If we look over here, there's a whole bunch of Octoroks on pillars, some enemies in the water, and a piece of heart at the top. I'm just gonna go ahead, put down a bed, and a bed, and a bed, and then we can make our way over to the heart. Easy peasy. There's two things that I don't wanna miss. The red one being a stamp, and the blue one being a piece of heart. I believe it's underneath some sand. Yep, it was the tiny one in the middle. This guy, you want to hop and then turn into sword fighter mode and then hit him a bunch of times, get out of sword fighter mode and learn it. This is the plat boom. Come on over here, summon a plat boom and it immediately destroys all the boxes. You want to go ahead, grab this rock, get back on top of your plat boom, put your rock up there. That way you can make your way to the right hand side. The first thing I want to do on this small portion of the map is make my way to this small shore opposite of every other dungeon that you've had before. Uh, you don't have to light the torches. Instead, you have to extinguish all of the torches. Going through that locked door at the top is going to be a piece of heart. And if you see these two houses, we're actually going to be going directly north of them to right about there. Making our way up to that most northern point, there's going to be a ferry in the water for us and 
a piece of heart. Very nice. That's another four hearts complete for another full heart. Thank you very much. Next, we're gonna be making our way to this red location right here. This area is also filled with a bunch of quicksand. And if you have the plat boom, you can sort of just bypass the whole enemy challenge and get the piece of heart. This warp point right here, just south of this warp point when you come in is the one with all the tornadoes. If you just walk down a little bit, you're going to be seeing this little pillar of smoke. This is the enemy that we have to go ahead and defeat. Next, we're going to be making our way to the blue marker over here from the fast travel point. And as you approach the area, there's going to be another sandstorm. You're going to see another pile of sand coming out. And just like before, Next, we're going to be making our way into Gerudo Town. At the Gerudo Palace, instead of going in the main door, we're going to be going to the left. And if you defeated those two big snakes in the ground, which those they're called uh, Lamolas, then this one is going to be having a quest for you. The second Lamola that we defeated, which is now this red marker, is where we're going to be making our way to. As you make your way over, it's going to be just like it was before, except this guy is going to be bigger and maybe stronger. I don't know. No and he's going to drop a piece of heart for you and much less rupees than the last one. And that's gonna be Mango Rush. Speaking with the person here, they're gonna be like, hey, do you wanna play some Mango Rush? Yes. And there's like, I've been waiting for you. It's my grandest work yet. I'm sure you're gonna be fine. It's called the Ultimate Seeds. So it's the exact same course as before, except now with your spin radius being dramatically larger, you don't need to get nearly as close to the mangoes as you did before. And for getting 70 out of 70, you're going to get yourself a piece of heart. And of course, you know, 12 mangoes. Next, we're going to be making our way to Jabu Waters. And the very first thing that we want to do as soon as we come to this area is realize that there's a piece of heart right next to Jabu Jabu's palace right here. So just go ahead and get yourself that piece of heart. Now that that mission is complete, I'm going to be heading into the sea and we're going to be heading over to that blue marker. And as you make your way on over there is going to be a bombable bit of rock and also defeat that guy. And that's gonna be getting us a piece of heart. Super nice. The very last collectible in this area requires us to make our way to this guy who's gonna be talking about this ship. And he's gonna say, have you seen that ship out in the Southwest? That was my ship. And then it fell into disrepair. Sort of ridiculously simple and easy. Off in the distance over to the right hand side, you may see through the uh, depth of field effect that there's just gonna be a heart piece chilling out there, go ahead, jump outside of the castle and get yourself that heart piece. Now that I see we're about halfway done, I'm just popping in the video to see if you, you looked at that subscribe button to see if you were subscribed yet. On top of here is going to be a piece of heart. Piece of heart on top of this platform. Go ahead and make your way up and get yourself that piece of heart. Next, we're going to be taking this trail to the left. And as we do, we're going to be seeing a cave that appears on the, uh, the cliff side right above us. Here we go. Instead, we need to make our way up. You're going to see this small patch of dirt right here. Take out a hole mill and hop inside of that hole. That's going to lead you to this piece of heart. Now over here is the Dream Dojo, the one with all the monster flags on it. And because we cleared two courses, we get a piece of heart. In this new portion of the map, we're gonna be making our way to this little uh, indent, this little indent, making my way to that blue marker. You can just get to the second floor, use a hole mill and go down this hole. Making our way to the red marker on the map, you're gonna notice this large boulder over here. Go ahead with a plat boom and lift him on up and get him off of that piece of heart. Thank you. We're gonna be having this fast travel point right here. Go ahead and activate it. And down here to the bottom right is gonna be a monster camp. Now just northwest of where we are, if we head on over here, if we make our way up, we find a piece of heart over here. Very nice. It's Acorn Guy. This acorn guy, we want to pass his test as fast as possible because we are going to be getting ourselves a piece of heart for winning. Now that we're at this more northern area, right about here that I have marked on the map is going to be a piece of heart location. And it's just going to be surrounded by a whole bunch of people with bombs. Little boulder bridge to the left, get yourself that piece of heart. Finally making our way over to that red marker is going to be a fast travel point for us. And you could probably imagine where we're going next.
Entrance to Summit Cave is gonna be right here on the map. Darston? Zelda, what are you doing here? After the rift was mended, I heard some dangerous sounds coming out of this cave, and then he's gonna get scared and become a little ball. And here is gonna be a piece of heart. That involves making our way back to Hyrule Castle Town and speaking to this boy over here. He's gonna be so impressed and give you a piece of heart. Nice. And that's an out there Zol complete. From where we are, we're gonna actually be making our way directly to the west. Over here, there's gonna be a cave that we're gonna go ahead and enter. Over here is gonna be a piece of heart. I'm just gonna go ahead and bet on over. And that's gonna be a piece of heart, nice. There, you're gonna be finding this tiny little staircase. I wanna show you where it is on the map because it's a little discreet. Plat Boom, can you do me a favor and help me up to the top? Thank you, sir. And get that piece of heart. Okay, first thing you do when you come to this area, move this middle tree out of your way and go through this doorway. Piece of heart, piece of cake. We have just one last side quest here, and he's actually gonna be right here. And if we make our way over to the clink, you're gonna be finding this guy over here with the two little pom-poms on his head. And now we need to make our way to the hidden ruins. And here is another piece of heart. Now with us on this higher elevation, we have to make our way over here for a piece of heart. Now we're gonna go ahead and make our way over to that bloop, yeah. We just need to make our way to this location right here, which is gonna be a piece of heart for us. And there we go, nice piece of heart. Only three left in the game. From here, we're gonna make our way directly across the pond to right here where we're gonna be finding ourselves a fast travel point. And right next to that, we're gonna be finding a piece of heart. Great piece of heart, two left in the game. On your way to the very last accessories and the green tunic at the slumber dojo, you have to complete a certain number of trials in order to get the last piece of heart here. Uh, if you're doing all of them in a row after blank slate battle final, that's gonna be however many you need in order to get the piece of heart. Hi, Conda. What to do? Oh. Zelda, try, you came to play with Conda. <laughs> and this is the quest of Snowball Magic. Uh, do not Google that. That was amazing, Zelda, the magic worked. And now it's not gonna snow anymore thanks to you. You could have this reward. The last piece of heart in the entire game. Number 40. Hope you guys found this information helpful. If you did, and I know you did, do me a favor, hit the thumbs up button down below. If you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe, turn on notifications for Echoes of Wisdom, tips, tricks, tutorials, and walkthrough. Till next time, Austin John out.